All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. I just realized I still got my glasses on. Let's put those on. I'm actually in Montreal, Canada, in Little Italy. Uh, I just arrived. Uh, if you know anything about me, I like to go to areas. I just don't like to go to certain restaurants. I'm not, I'm not saying other restaurants that aren't in Little Italy's aren't awesome. I'm just saying a lot of times when I travel, I just like to go to certain communities. So, to make a long story short, I come over here to Little Italy in Montreal, which is basically in the city. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick glance of that. I wish I could have got here during the day. You could see things a little better, but I'm gonna take you to my favorite restaurant, basically in all of Montreal. It's called Moretti's. So Moretti is actually, if you know anything about Italian beer, uh, that's probably the oldest beer in Italy from the 1850s. Uh, all my ancestors, immigrant grandparents, Grandparents, everybody used to drink Moretti growing up. Peroni has become more popular, but what's unbelievable is Moretti, or Moretti, they have their own restaurant here, and it's the only one that I know of is in existence, maybe in Italy. I'm just saying in North America. I think they're opening another one in Toronto in July of 2019. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what I heard or I saw something on it. So, on the corner here of, uh, what is it, Peel and Wellington, I think? Yeah, I'll show you the corner. So, I'll give you a nice glance of what little Italy kind of looks like. Oh. So, yeah, let me go over here. So, Marone is freezing. Minghia Mouse. So, yeah, it's about, I think, 8 degrees out here. So, Moretti is about 10 miles from the airport. But depending on when you come, uh, it could take you 15, 20 minutes. It could take you 30 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic. I'd say on the average 30. Um, but there's Moretti. I wanted to kind of give you a distance shot. Wait a minute. Is that it? Yeah, right on Wellington. So, yeah. This is basically Little Italy. But for the most part, this is the only place I really go when I'm here. I don't have a lot of time when I come here a lot of times. But their food's delicious. A lot of times, I like to put a restaurants that are really affordable kind of mom and pop unique places not just chains or anything like that but in this case it's very unique holy shit is my hands are already freezing i knew that was happening that's why i started the video earlier anyways delicious food coffee wine beer everything it's more on the higher end side so uh don't expect uh some unbelievable deal it is a hot spot it is always usually slamming inside here so i'm gonna go inside there it's literally i'm freezing and I forgot to put my hat and gloves on. But uh, just so you know, when I'm inside there, it's going to probably be too loud. So I'm just going to shoot footage, not talk. Because lately, everybody keeps saying, Rich, show us inside what it looks like. Tell us about that. And then I get in there and I'm trying to talk. And it's too loud. All right, real fast. I forgot to do this and I don't want to blow it. Look at this guy. He's usually cutting the prosciutto fresh on the machine. Uh, there he is. He's not doing it now, but usually there's a guy right here. I kind of dig that. <laughs> I just thought I would throw that in there. One other thing. So obviously here, they speak a lot of French. I hear them speak a lot more French than English. Uh, but what's interesting about this place is uh, you got a lot of Italians in here too. So it's a mixture between French, Italians, and English. Uh, but it's a very cool spot as far as that goes. All right. Oh yeah, it's a pizzeria. That's to, that's the other thing. So it's, it's actually called Pizzeria Moretti. So uh, yeah. Here it is. Let's go back inside. I ran in there real quick just to warm up.
you can hear me, uh, you got to get a Moretti while you're at Moretti. I got two different sizes. This is the bigger one. So, anyways, this is the beer they serve. That's one of their specialties. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. I'm gonna actually go with pizza. I never order pizza here. I always get the fresh fish or I get all different things. Appetizers, pasta dishes. Uh, a lot of times I just get their special, which is usually uh, a fish. But today I'm gonna try something different. Uh, but actually, instead of just getting a margarita, I'm getting a margarita and I'm adding prosciutto on there as well. I know it's ridiculous to change up the entire flavor. I don't care, I wanna try something new. So. give it a shot the waitress kind of convinced me to do it something different uh, it was funny because I think she remembered me from last time she even got me the same coffee she just delivered it so I think she did remember me she's a very nice lady but uh, yeah a lot of times when I come to Canada I gotta say I do get pizza I live in Florida I don't like the pizza there I really only like the pizza for the most part Chicago Boston New York I usually don't order pizza or eat pizza that often unless I'm in Canada and I don't know what it is. I love their prosciutto. I love their sauce, their tomatoes. A lot of their stuff is local. Is this loud, this thing? I don't give a shit. It's like zero degrees outside, so I'm going to talk over it. Anyway, so it was definitely a nice call. It was fresh pomodoro. I mean, it was delicious. Uh, the basil, uh, tomato, everything. So here we go. Here comes somebody right now. So anyways... Uh, I'm going to step outside myself, but yeah, you got to try this place out, Moratti's. It's delicious. It's one of the best, I think, Italian restaurants in Canada. Mingya, mouse. So yeah, there it is. One more last shot. Yeah, I got to spend more time here. I don't even go to the local coffee joints around here like I usually do on Little Italy's. I just come here at night. I fly in, do what I got to do, and I get out. So there, it's not easy to sometimes find parking here. That's the one thing I forgot to mention. So they have street parking like this. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't, I never could find spots. They close at 1030. Uh, I think it's more of a dinner joint. I don't even know if they're open for lunch. I don't want to bullshit, but if you walk. Um, so uh, yeah, it's Wellington, right? So there's the corner where it's at right down there and just hook a left out of there. And then you come up, you come down Wellington and then you take a quick left here. Oh, I don't even know what street this is. Uh, Shannon. Shannon, and then there's parking right there. And sometimes I don't think a lot of people know that. And last time I was here, it was under construction. A lot of these streets are blocked off. But uh, parking, I don't know how much it costs. I think the first half an hour is maybe five bucks. Then it goes after that. I'm in so many different cities and so many different places that I can't always tell you exactly what's what. But yeah. Uh, Pizzeria Moretti, it's delicious, and uh, I did have a Moretti there. I think out of all the draft beers I have, because it's not easy to find Moretti, that's one of the best. It is really, obviously, that's their joint, so they make sure their beer is immaculate. I'm going to go in this garage. Model, what the fuck? Oh, 
shit, I can't even get in that joint. I gotta go into another entrance. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up there anyways. All right, if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. I'm always gonna be posting unique places I go to all over North America, hopefully Italy soon. I got a podcast, the Rich Shalenza Show. WTF are you talking about? Obviously, I have a YouTube channel. I got, a, I got LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter, Facebook. But, um, yeah, wow, is it cold. If you're gonna come to Canada, especially like places like Montreal, they're beautiful, make sure you come at the right time of year, all right? All right, take care and safe travels.